Hello students, welcome to the CS department. As you all know, we were discussing the third chapter that is data representation and we have already seen the four types of positional number systems which happen to be the decimal number system, binary, octal and hexadecimal. We have gone through each of them in detail. We now know how to represent them with the positions, with the basis, correct? Recall which is the base of the decimal number? It is 10, correct? The base of binary, 2. The base of octal, 8. The base of hexadecimal, 16, right? Okay. Now we all know how to represent them in positions. You all have done the assignments already, right? So, what's next? The next is how to convert these mutually. Means how to convert the decimal number to binary or binary to hexadecimal or octal to decimal. Like this, we have to now learn the conversions of the number system. Are you ready for that? Okay. So, let us now first go through decimal to binary conversion. Okay. That means there is a decimal number, say 50. Okay. This is a decimal number. Now, how to convert this decimal number into binary number? For that, four steps we have to follow and I have already written it. Pause the video and just take them down first so that while explaining, you will understand how the process is going on. So, first what we have to do, divide the given number by 2. There is a given number. Okay, you have to go on dividing it by 2. What we have to do next? Write the reminder at the right side. Means, when you divide it by 2, when you divide a number by 2, what are the possibilities of getting the reminder? You will either get 0 as the reminder or 1 as the reminder, isn't it? Whenever you divide a number by 2, if it is even number, the remainder is 0, correct? If it is odd number, the remainder is 1. So, only there are two possibilities, either 1 or 0. What we are doing here? We are converting the number to binary, isn't it? So, we have to get either 1 or 0. Am I right? So, when you are going to divide a number by 2, the remainder what you get will be either 1 or 0. That you have to record, that you have to write it. At the right side, you have to write, okay? Uh, we will do it, don't worry. Then, repeat these step 1 and 2 until it can't be divided further. Okay, you go on dividing this number by 2. You will get a number again by 2, again by 2. So, you go on dividing it until you get either 1 or 0 at the last. Means, you cannot divide it further. Okay, 1 or 0 cannot be divided by 2. So, until you get that as the quotient you have to go on dividing okay and the last step is collect all the reminders from last to first and that will be your binary equivalent number okay so let us do one problem so that you will understand how this system works so what was the number given it was 50 okay 50 is a decimal number and I have to convert it to binary. This is the problem. Okay, the problem will be given like this. Please understand. 10, when it is given as the subscript to a number, it is a decimal number. Then you have to convert it to binary. 2 is written as a subscript, isn't it? So, what is the first step? Take the number, okay, and divide it by 2. Understanding? Take the number and divide it by 2. So, when you divide it by 2, what is the answer? 50 by 2, 25 is the answer, correct? So, write quotient here, that is 25. Is there any reminder left when you divide 50 by 2? Okay, basic maths, just recall 50 divided by 2, correct? 2 to the 4, then 2 5s are 10. What is the reminder? 0 is the reminder. Am I right? So, 25 is the quotient that we have to write and 0 is the reminder that we have to note down. Okay. At the right side, it is said, see here, write the remainder at the right side. So, at the right side, you have written the reminder and quotient is here. Then what? Then repeat this step. Okay. Repeat this step means again divide this number by 2 now. 
25 divided by 2. What will you get? 25 divided by 2. 2 ones are 2, 0. 5 is remaining. 2 2 is 4. So, 1 is the remainder now. Am I right? Which, what is the quotient? 12. So, 12 I will write and in remainder side I will write 1. Am I right? Correct? Okay. Now again repeat the step. Divide it by 2 again. 12 divided by 2. What is the answer? 6 is the answer. Do you get any remainder? No. Because it is an even number. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Remainder is 0. And further. 6 divided by 2. What is the answer? 2, 3 is 6. Any remainder? No. So, 0 is the remainder. Don't forget to write the remainder. Don't skip that step. It is the very important thing. Okay. Then again 2. 3 by 2 is 2 ones are 2. The remainder is 1. Correct. 3 divided by 2. When you divide, 2 ones are 2. But remainder is 1. Now, can you divide it further? Can 1 be di divided by 2? No, you cannot do it. So, you have to stop here. When you get either 1 or 0 at the last, you have to stop. Okay. Now, what to do? Repeat step 1 and 2 until it can't be divided further. Yes, it can't be divided further. Now, we have to stop. Last, what is the step? Taking the remainders from last to first will give its binary equivalent. How to take this? Please listen it very carefully. You have to take the remainders in this way. See the arrow mark. How we have to take? This should be written first. And you have to proceed. Okay. That means what? 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. This is the binary number. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 is the binary equivalent of 50. So, when this type of problem is given, you have to solve it like this and write the binary equivalent here 1 1 0 0 1 0 is your answer am i clear here please pause the video do it yourself okay try it again and if you get the correct answer that means you have understood this okay can we go for another problem shall we solve it again okay so now take another <clears throat> say which one to take 127 can we take this number okay so 127 is a decimal number i want its binary equivalent done can we start so what is the first step take the number divide it by 2 right divide it by 2 so 127 divided by 2 uh please calculate and let me know. Please calculate it first. Okay. You have to do it on yourself. 63, you will get. Okay. Try that. 2, 6 are 12. 2, 3 is a 6. But 7 is there. So, 1 is reminder. Am I right? Correct. So, 1 is written as reminder now. Then again, 63 has to, divide, has to be divided by 2. Right? So, 2, 3 is a 6. 2, 1 is a 2. Again, 1 is the reminder. You can do it. Okay. Then again, 31 divided by 2. 2 1s are 2. 11 is remaining. 5s are 10. Again, 1 remains. So, 15 is the quotient. But again, 1 is the reminder. Then, uh, 2 7s are 14. So, again, 1 is remainder. Correct. Then again, 2 3s are 6. But again, 1 is reminder isn't it again two ones are two again one is the reminder can you divide it further now one has come can you divide it further no so you have to stop here when you stop here remember the arrow mark how to take this the number is one 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 this is the binary equivalent for 
127 seven ones written 1111111 this is the binary equivalent for what 127 did you all get this i hope you all have understood this okay can we do one more last okay then i'll give some for exercise and you have to practice them okay understanding i hope you are fine with the steps just to make you understand again let me go through it again divide the given number by 2 now the number is given okay divide it by 2 okay then you write the quotient here and write the remainder at the right side at the right side you are writing the whatever remains that is 0 or 1 you are writing it repeat the step 1 and 2 until it can't be divided by further that means you again divide it by 2 until you get here 1 or 0 okay when you get that 1 or 0 you cannot divide it further so now starting from here go upwards to write the binary equivalent this is the way to convert the decimal number to binary okay last one more we will take okay you have to take many numbers on yourself and try it as the exercise understanding uh say third number any number you have to take say 100 okay 100 is a decimal number i want to convert it to binary understanding what's the step 100 correct then go on dividing it by 2 50 0 is the remainder correct again divided by 2 25 0 is the remainder okay you already know what is the re representation of 50 you already know that okay so 2 12 1 is the remainder means 25 divided by 2 you do uh, 2 12s are 24 so 1 is the remainder correct then 2 6 are 12 nothing remains zero is the remainder then 2 3 are 6 0 is the remainder then 2 1 are 2 1 is the remainder it's an odd number for any odd number remainder will be 1 for any even number remainder will be 0 this is a simple thing have you understood this if it is an even number the remainder will be 0 see again even number remainder is 0 if it is odd number see here 25 is odd 3 is odd okay for such things you will get 1 as the remainder that you have to understand okay now compile all the remainders and write the answer it will be like this isn't it so 1100 100 zero, zero. this is the answer okay that you have to write here 11 Zero zero one zero zero. This is the binary equivalent of hundred. Okay, this is the way. So now take these three as the assignments. You have to try it. Okay, I have given the decimal numbers. You have to follow these four steps and convert it to binary equivalent. The first number is one thousand twenty-four. It is a decimal number. Second number is Sixteen thousand five hundred thirty-five. Okay, that you have to convert to binary. And the last one is twenty-six thousand seven hundred ninety-four. So these three decimal numbers you have to convert into binary equivalent. Okay, students. Now we come to the next step. That is how to convert the binary number or the decimal number to binary if it is having the fractional part okay now whatever we studied till now like 100 100 is just an integer number it doesn't have any fraction if it was given like 100.25 now what to do you know how to convert 100 to binary correct but i do not know how to convert this 0.25 into binary correct so how to convert the fractional part in the decimal number or the uh, whatever decimal is there after the point whatever numbers come how to convert this part to binary that we have to study okay so for that i have written the steps see decimal to binary fractional part okay 
for that please pause the video and write these steps okay what is there step 1 multiply the given fractional number by 2 okay only the fractional number you have to consider the integer part you have to convert it separately the fractional part you have to convert it separately understand this first okay so multiply the given fractional number by 2 fine then note down the carry and product we will know what is carry and product the, then repeat this step 1 and 2 until the decimal number can't be divided further okay so the carry part going downwards gives the binary equivalent means like this when we go the downward representation when we were doing only this integer part we would like to go like this isn't it we from downwards we go upwards the last we start and to the first we move but here when you are considering the fractional part you have to do it reverse you have to move downwards okay shall we try one problem i hope you will understand by this okay the same we will take 100.25 fine uh, you already know what is the decimal uh, binary equivalent of 100 isn't it 100.25 is the decimal number given i want to convert it to binary fine so 100 you have to convert it separately and 0.25 this is the fractional part isn't it that you have to convert it separately understanding so 100 how to convert you already know 50 0 then 25 yes what is the remainder 0 then 12 what is the remainder 1 then 2 6 are 12 so 0 is the remainder then 2 3 are 6 so 0 is the remainder then 2 1s are 2 1 is the remainder so 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 is the answer for 100 that you already know this we have already solved but now how to convert this 0.25 fractional part into binary okay so what is the first step given multiply the given fractional number by 2 don't divide it you have to multiply it okay 0.25 into 2 what is 0.25 into 2 0.25 into 2 is 2 5 is 10 2 2 is 4 5 yes two zeros are zero that is 0 0.50 correct now in this 0 0.50 what they have said note the carry and product okay so whatever comes to the left side of the decimal part is carry whatever comes to the right side of the decimal part is product please remember this what did i say Whatever comes to the left side of the decimal part is carry. Whatever comes to the right side of the decimal part is product. So, 0.25 into 2 when you do 0 0.50 you are getting. Okay. Now, how I have to write this is say 0.25 into 2. Okay. Fine. I am writing product and carry both. Okay. So, product is 0.5 correct 0 0.50 you write okay 0 0.50 this much is the product what is the carry 0 is the carry correct 0 is the carry now what to do repeat step 1 and 2 until decimal number can't be divided further okay consider only the decimal number that means 0.5 repeat the step that means again multiply it by 2 and note down the carry and product so 0.5 into 2 okay do it 0 0.5 into 2 what is the answer 2 5s are 10 so 1 remains then it is 1.0 isn't it it is 1.0 1.0 means 1 is the carry 0 is the product okay so here you write it 0 and 1 is the carry am i right did you get this right yes how to stop it until the decimal number can't be divided further okay can you go it again 0 into 2 can you do what you get you get 0 itself okay so when here 0 comes you have to stop you cannot divide it further okay 
So the last step is the carry part going downwards gives the binary equivalent. What is the carry part? This is the carry part going downwards. Downwards means 0, 1. This is the binary equivalent. Only this much. Means already you have 100 as 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. This is the binary equivalent of 100. Okay. For 0.25, I got 0 and 1. Okay. That means 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 0.01. This is the binary equivalent of 100.25. Only this much. Did you understand this? What we did? We first multiply the fractional part, whatever is there, by 2, the decimal number by 2. Okay. Then we note down the product and carry. The carry is the left side of the decimal point. The product is at the right side of the decimal point. We note down both. Okay. Then we consider this product part. Only the decimal part we consider. Only the decimal part we consider. And we again multiply it by 2. Okay. Then we again note down carry and product until you cannot multiply further. There you stop. And last, you have to go downwards to get the result. So, 0 and 1 I have got and I have written it here. Okay. Now, let us take one more example. Only the decimal part I am taking. Understanding? Only the decimal part. That is fractional part. Is there no? That I will take and I will explain. Okay. Later in assignments, we will combine and do. Okay. So, let me take one decimal part. That is 0 0.3125 is the decimal number 0.3125 okay and now you have to convert this to binary how to do it 0.3125 convert to binary what to do here 0 is there correct 0 will remain 0 that we cannot change that means only 0.3125 I have to convert to binary so what is the step 0.3125 into 2 you have to multiply it by 2 the first step then you have to note down what? Product and carry. Okay. Product and carry. So, 0 0.3125 into 2, you have to multiply and see what result do you get. 2 5 za 10. 2 2 za 4. 5. 2 1 za 2. 2 3 za 6. 0. So, 0 you got in the carry and 0 0.625 you got in the product. Isn't it? So, write it. 0 0.625 as the product and 0 as the carry. Am I right here? Okay. Next, consider the decimal part. What is the decimal part? 0.625. So, 0.625 into 2. I have to do now. Am I right? 0.625 into 2. Please do it. 2 5s are 10. 2 2s are 4. 5. 2 6s are 12. So, 1 is the carry. So, 1.25 I got. Correct? 1.25 I got. So, then what is the product? 0.25. What is the carry? Carry is the at the left side of the decimal part. So, 1 is the carry. Am I right? Did you understand this? So, 1.25 I have got. 1 is the carry and the decimal part that is 0.25 is written in the product. Okay. Then you have to continue. How to continue this? 0 0.25 into 2. 0 0.25 into 2 is what? 0.5. That you already know. You have solved it in the last example. So, 0 0.5 and 0 is the carry. Further, 0 0.5 into 2. What is the answer? 1 is the answer. 0 0.5 into 2 is 1. So, 1 you get in carry and you get 0 in the product. Okay. Can you again multiply it by 2? No. No use. 0 into anything will be 0 itself. So, you have to stop here. And going downwards will give you the binary equivalent. So, the answer will be 0 0.0101. So, this 0 0.0101 is the binary equivalent of 0 0.3125 which is the decimal number. Did you understand this? So, you have to multiply it by 2, note down the product and carry. Okay. 
again take the decimal part and multiply by 2 and go on till you reach to a number which cannot be multiplied further and note down all the carries downwards to get the results. So this is the way to write the fractional part conversion of decimal to binary. So at last let us give some assignments. These are the three decimal numbers given to you. You have to convert them to binary. The first one is 32.15625 decimal number. You have to convert it to binary. Then second is 41.625 and the third is 511, 511.078125. Okay. But please remember you have to convert this separately with the first uh, uh, process what we solved and you have to convert the decimal part separately with this process. Okay. I hope you will have to, you will get it very easily and you will send me the assignments. Okay. So students, whatever we have learnt till now, that is uh, converting the decimal number to binary, going on dividing it by 2 and writing down the reminders. Now that process was known as factorization. Okay. That process, what we have done till now was known as factorization. Okay. What is factorization? You take a number, go on dividing it by 2. The factors, you find the factors. Okay. I think you have done it in your high school while uh, studying your uh, HCF, LCM and all. Okay. Fine. Now that process was known as factorization. Now, see the conversion. Binary to decimal. That means the reverse process. Okay. They give you a binary number like 11010111. That is a binary number. That you have to convert it to decimal. How to do that? Okay. Actually, you have already done it. Where, uh, when you were representing the binary number with the positions, okay, you already have done it. The same, in a systematic way, we have to uh, follow these steps to do it. Okay. So, how to do that? Now, that method is known as WBV method. Okay. Whatever we are learning here, these steps are for WBV method. Now, what is this WBV? We have to study now. Okay. So, see the steps first. Write the given binary digits separately. Okay. Binary digits can be called as what? Bits. Correct. I write it as bits. See, there is a number 110101. Okay. It is a binary number given. I have to convert it back to decimal. Tenth. Okay. So, bits I have to write first. Correct. Then what? Above, write their weights. Write their weights. Means W. What is this weight is? That is corresponding powers of 2 corresponding powers of 2 okay multiply the bits by their weights and write the results now those results are known as values okay these results are known as values so now this method is called as wbv method okay at last add all the results to get the final answer okay shall we implement this method we will do some one or two problems and you try it later. Okay, the bits are there. First, you have to write the bits. Okay, with some space in between, write the bits. 1101101101. Okay, now the bits are written. What we have to do next? We have to do the, we have to write the weights. Okay, now we have to start it from zero. Uh, the right hand side you all know this this is called as what lsb okay we have to write it with least significant bit and this is known as msb most significant bit you already know that okay so first write the weight just i am writing two okay where to start the zeros to the rightmost bit isn't it? So, 2 raised to 0. That means this is the unit's place. You all know this. You have already done it in writing the positions. 2 raised to 0. As you go to the left, you always 
increase the powers correct 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 5 yes the weights are written the second step is done what is the third step multiply the bits by their weights means you have to multiply them these you have to multiply okay and write the results so what are the results to let us start from here 2 raised to 0 is 1 okay 1 into 1 is 1 correct 2 raised to 1 2 2 into 0 0 correct anything into 0 is 0 2 raised to 2 4 2 square 4 4 into 1 written 4 okay 2 raised to 3 into 0 anything into 0 is 0 2 raised to 4 16 16 into 1 16 okay what i am doing multiply the weights by their bits and write the results that is values okay i am multiplying these two and i am writing the value 2 raised to 5 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 so 32 is the answer 32 into 1 is 32 written now what is the final step add all the results to get the final answer so 32 plus 16 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 when you add all these values you get the final result okay so 32 plus 16 48 48 plus 4 52 52 plus 1 53 now that is the final answer did you all uh, get this see first write the bits separately okay then write the weights corresponding weights that means you have to start from the right hand side with the zero as the power and come on to the left to uh, and increase the powers correct zero one two three four five six like that you have to go then you multiply the weights by the bits okay and you write the values at last you add all these values to get the final answer okay now let us take the second example there is a number given 1101 this is a binary number it is a bit okay uh, this binary number i want to convert it into the decimal number that is the 10 as the subscript first step write all the bits separately so 1101 written separately okay second step write their weights means powers of 2 so 2 i am writing okay and now to write the powers where i have to start i have to start at the rightmost bit that is lsb least significant bit and it will be always having 0 as the power it will start from 0 and as you go to the left it will increase so 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 3. Done. Second step done. Third step, multiply the bits by their weights. Okay. I have to multiply these two. Correct. Now, multiplying these two means what? I have to write the values. 2 raised to 3. You can either come from this or from this because you are adding. When you add, it will be same. A plus B equal to B plus A. It is the commutative property. So either you go like this or like this. Doesn't make any difference. Fine. 2 raised to 3, 8. 8 into 1, 8. Correct? 2 cube is 8. 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. 2 square, 4. 4 into 1, 4. Correct? 2 raised to 1, 2 into 0. Anything into 0 is 0. 2 raised to 0 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. So, 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 1, 13. So, 13 is the decimal equivalent of this binary number that is 1101. One, Did you all understand that? I hope it is clear to everyone. Let me give some assignments and you please try them and see whether you get the proper decimal number or not. Okay. So, the assignments take them say 1010111 this is a binary number you have to convert back into 
decimal. Another one, one 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 one. Okay. So this you have to convert to decimal. Okay. Another one, one zero one one zero one zero. Okay. So these three, please solve and send to send back to me. I hope you are able to convert this binary to decimal. And earlier we learnt decimal to binary. Now both these conversions are perfect. Correct. Thank you.